Yo, what's up, guys? Good morning. Welcome to the one-year Bible reading. Today's reading is for November 12th. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord God, for another day, another opportunity to, to live and to love you and to worship you, Lord. May you fill us with your Holy Spirit. Guide us throughout our day. May we make the right choices and decisions. May we love you with all that we have. May we love our neighbors and our enemies and everyone that we come across, Lord. May we always put you first and give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 24, verse 1 through chapter 26, verse 21. Again, in the ninth year, in the tenth month, on the tenth day of the month, the word of the Lord came to me, Ezekiel, saying, Son of man, write down the name of the day, this very day. The king of Babylon started his siege against Jerusalem this very day. And utter a parable to the rebellious house, and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, Put on a pot, set it on, and also pour water into it. Gather pieces of meat in it, every good piece, the thigh and the shoulder. Fill it with choice cuts. Take the choice of the flock. Also pile field bones under it. Make it boil well, and let the cuts simmer in it. Therefore thus says the Lord God, Woe to the bloody city, and to the pot whose scum is in it, and whose scum is not gone from it. Bring it out piece by piece, on which no, hot, no lot has fallen, for her blood is in her midst. She set it on top of a rock. She did not pour it on the ground to cover it with dust, that it may raise up fury and take vengeance. I have set her blood on top of a rock, that it may not be covered. Therefore thus says the Lord God, Woe to the bloody city! I too will make the pyre great. Heap on the wood, kindle the fire, cook the meal well, the meat well, mix in the spices and let the cuts be burned up. Then set the pot empty on the coals, that it may become hot and its bronze may burn, that its filthiness may be melted in it, that its scum may be consumed. She has grown weary with lies and her great scum has not gone from her. Let her scum be in the fire, and your filthiness is lewdness, because I have cleansed you, and you were not cleansed. You will not be cleansed of your filthiness any more, till I have caused my fury to rest upon you. I, the Lord, have spoken it. It shall come to pass, and I will do it. I will not hold back, nor will I spare, nor will I relent. According to your ways and according to your deeds, they will judge you, says the Lord God. Also the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, behold, I take away from you the desire of your eyes with one stroke. Yet you shall neither mourn nor weep, nor shall your tears run down. Sigh in silence, make no mourning for the dead. Bind your turban on your head, and put on your sandals on your feet. Do not cover your lips, and do not eat man's bread of sorrow. So I spoke to the people in the morning, and at evening my wife died. And the next morning I did as I was commanded. And the people said to me, Will you not tell us what these things signify to us, that you behave so? Then I answered them, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Speak to the house of Israel. Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I will profane my sanctuary, your arrogant boast, the desire of your eyes, the delight of your soul, and your sons and daughters whom you left behind shall fall by the sword. And you shall do as I have done. You shall not cover your lips, nor eat man's bread of sorrow. Your turbans shall be on your heads, and your sandals on your feet. You shall neither mourn nor weep. 
but you shall pine away in your iniquities and mourn with one another. Thus Ezekiel is a sign to you. According to all that he has done, you shall do. And when this comes, you shall know that I am the Lord God. And you, son of man, will it not be in the day when I take from their stronghold, their joy, and their joy, their glory, the desire of their eyes, and that on which they set their minds, their sons and their daughters, that on that day one who escapes will come to you to let you hear it with your ears. On that day your mouth will be opened to him who has escaped. You shall speak and no longer be mute. Thus you, you will be a sign to them, and they shall know that I am the Lord. The word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, set your face against the Ammonites and prophesy against them. Say to the Ammonites, Hear the word of the Lord God. Thus says the Lord God, Because you said, Ha ha, against my sanctuary when it was profaned, and against the land of Israel when it was desolate, and against the house of Judah when they went into captivity. Indeed, therefore, I will deliver you as a possession to the men of the east, and they shall set their encampments among you and make their dwellings among you. They shall eat your fruit, and they shall drink your milk. And I will make Rabbah a stable for camels, and Ammon a resting place for flocks. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. For thus says the Lord God, Because you clapped your hands, stamped your feet, and rejoiced in heart with all your disdain for the land of Israel, indeed, therefore, I will stretch out my hand against you, and give you as plunder to the nations. I will cut you off from the peoples, and I will cause you to perish from the countries. I will destroy you, and you shall know that I am the Lord. Thus says the Lord God, Because Moab and Seir say, Look, the house of Judah is like all the nations. Therefore, behold, I will clear the territory of Moab of cities, of the cities on its frontier, the glory of the country, Beth Jeshemoth, Baal Meon, and Kirjathaim. To the men of the east I will give it as a possession, together with the Ammonites, that the Ammonites may not be remembered among the nations. And I will execute judgments upon Moab, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Thus says the Lord God, because of what Edom did against the house of Judah, by taking vengeance and has greatly offended by avenging itself on them, therefore thus says the Lord God, I will also stretch out my hand against Edom, cut off man and beast from it, and make it desolate from Teman. Dedan shall fall by the sword. I will lay my vengeance on Edom by the hand of the of my people Israel, that they may do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, says the Lord God. Thus says the Lord God, because the Philistines dealt vengefully and took vengeance with a spiteful heart to destroy because of the old hatred. Therefore thus says the Lord God, I will stretch out my hand against the Philistines, and I will cut off the Cherethites, and destroy the remnant of the sea coast. I will execute great vengeance on them with furious rebukes, and they shall know that I am the Lord, when I lay my vengeance upon them. And it came to pass in the eleventh year, on the first day of the month, that the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, because Tyre has set, said against Jerusalem, Aha, she is broken, who was the gateway of the peoples. Now she is turned over to me. I shall be filled. She is laid waste. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against you, O Tyre, and 
will cause many nations to come up against you, as the sea causes its waves to come up. And they shall destroy the walls of Tyre and break down her towers. I will also scrape her dust from her and make her like the top of a rock. It shall be a place for spreading nets in the midst of the sea, for I have spoken, says the Lord God. It shall become plunder for the nations. Also her daughter villages which are in the fields shall be slain by the sword. Then they shall know that I am the Lord. For thus says the Lord God, Behold, I will bring against Tyre from the north Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon, king of kings, with horses, with chariots, and with horsemen, and an army with many people. He will slay with the sword your daughter villages in the fields. He will heap up a siege mound against you, build a wall against you, and raise a, de a defense against you. He will direct his battering rams against your walls, and with his axes he will break down your towers. Because of the abundance of his horses, their dust will cover you. Your walls will shake at the noise of the horsemen, the wagons, and the chariots, when he enters your gates, as men enter a city that has been breached. With the hooves of his horses he will trample all your streets. He will slay your people by the sword, and your strong pillars will fall to the ground. They will plunder your riches and pillage your merchandise. They will break down your walls and destroy your pleasant houses. They will lay your stones, your timber, and your soil in the midst of the water. I will put an end to the sound of your songs, and the sound of your harps shall be heard no more. I will make you like the top of a rock. You shall be a place for spreading nets, and you shall never be rebuilt. For I, the Lord, have spoken, says the Lord God. Thus says the Lord God to Tyre, Will the coastlands not shake at the sound of your fall, when the wounded cry, when slaughter is made in the midst of you? Then all the princes of the sea will come down from their thrones, lay aside their robes, and take off their embroidered garments. They will clothe themselves with trembling. They will sit on the ground, tremble every moment, and be astonished at you. And they will take up a lamentation for you and say to you, How you have perished, O one inhabited by seafaring men, O renowned city, who was strong at sea, she and her inhabitants, who caused their error to be on all her inhabitants. Now the coastlands tremble on the day of your fall. Yes, the coastlands by the sea are troubled at your departure. For thus says the Lord God, When I make you a desolate city, like cities that are not inhabited, when I bring the deep upon you, the, and great waters cover you, then I will bring you down with those who descend into the pit, to the people of old, and I will make you dwell in the lowest part of the earth, in places desolate from antiquity, with those who go down to the pit, so that you may never be inhabited. And I shall establish glory in the land of the living. I will make you a terror, and you shall be no more. Though you are sought for, you will never be found again, says the Lord God. The book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verses 1 through 16. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, for by it the elders obtained a good testimony. By faith we understand that the words were framed by the word of God. Excuse me. By faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. By faith 
Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, through which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God, testifying of his gifts, and through it he being dead, still speaks. By faith, Enoch was taken away so that he did not see death, and was not found because God had taken him. For before he was taken, he had this testimony that he pleased God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. By faith, Noah, being divinely warned of things not yet seen, moved with godly fear prepared an ark for the saving of his household, by which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness, which is according to faith. By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to the place which he would receive as an inheritance. And he went out, not knowing where he was going. By faith, he dwelt in the land of promise as in a foreign country, dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he waited for the city which has foundations, whose builder and maker is God. By faith, Sarah herself also received strength to conceive seed, and she bore a child when she was past the age, because she judged him faithful who had promised. Therefore, from one man, and him as good as dead, were born as many as the stars of the sky in multitude, innumerable as the sand which is by the seashore. These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, were assured of them, embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. For those who say such things declare plainly that they seek a homeland. And truly, if they had called to mind that country from which they had come out, they would have had opportunity to return. But now they desire a better, that is, a heavenly country. Therefore God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. The book of Psalm, chapter 110, verses 1 through 7. A Psalm of David. The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. The Lord shall send the rod of your strength out of Zion, rule in the midst of your enemies. Your people shall be volunteers in the day of your power, in the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning. You have the dew of your youth. The Lord has sworn and will not relent. You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The Lord is at your right hand. He shall execute kings in the days of his wrath. He shall judge among the nations. He shall fill the places with dead bodies. He shall execute the heads of many countries. He shall drink of the brook by the wayside. Therefore he shall lift up the head. The book of Proverbs, chapter 27, verse 14. He who blesses his friend with a loud voice, rising early in the morning, it will be counted a curse to him. Alright guys, hope you all have a great day. We will see you tomorrow and may God bless you all. In Jesus name, Amen.